My name is Derek, and today I'm going to be showing you a repair. Now this repair might seem a little complicated, and for some it might be, and that is the front camera on an iPhone, specifically on the iPhone 12. Now the reason that this repair might seem difficult to some is that in order to save Face ID, some extra work has to be involved instead of just replacing the whole front-facing camera assembly, which consists of an infrared camera, the camera itself, and a dot projector. The dot projector and the infrared camera are the two components on the front-facing camera assembly that actually do Face ID. In fact, you can set up Face ID without the front-facing camera, but it does help to know where your face is, and so having that visual will help you set it up. So I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how we fix it. Let's get into the video. Here I have an iPhone 12. When we go into the camera, the rear camera is working, and when we flip it around, there's nothing. Now if I get a new camera, just the camera itself, and we plug it, it in, we'll see that when we turn it back on, and we go into the camera, that it does work. But if I replace the whole front-facing camera assembly, we'll use Face ID. Let me show you how to replace only the camera so that we can save Face ID. The first thing that I'm gonna do is Take apart the phone, I'll take the screen off, we'll set the working camera aside. We'll go ahead and take the assembly out gently. Now you can remove the rear camera to make it just a little bit easier, but it will come out uh, if, you're, if you're patient. And now we have to contend with the frame. The dot projector is glued in to the frame here, and the cameras as well are glued in, but they're mainly held together by a frame that is tack welded together. The new camera does come with that frame and you can see it here in two pieces. When we're done it'll go back together like this and we too will tack weld it in place. And it's easier than you might think. What we need to look for are the places where it is tack welded and you'll see these little circles sometimes they're slightly brown. Carefully go in without cutting any of the cables. That you can see if I do that, then I can bend and fold that out of the way. And then what you'll notice is it's pretty heavily glued in there. So we need to pop that out. So I'm going to slide a tool in under the glue there and gently wedge on it. And we're going to kind of snap away the adhesive, making it so that it's weak and not holding on anymore. And then when we do that, it'll pop the camera out. And I actually like to leave the adhesive, if I can, on the camera because it helps it have a nice snug fit in the new frame because it's still the same shape. Now we'll gently grab it and pull it out the rest of the way. Just like that. And do your best to avoid touching the lens to keep it nice and clean and free of fingerprints and, and debris. To make this next one easier, I'm going to gently go in and we're going to Fold down this bar here, that, so that it's out of the way of the flex cable. And we'll just continue to carefully peel it away, a little piece at a time, as part of the flex cable is glued down to the back of the dot projector. Baby steps, taking it little pieces at a time. There we go, we've peeled it all back, so now we can access it. Now, you'll see in the front, the glue kind of overlaps the frame here. We're going to take this under the microscope so you can see how I like to push it out. So what I'm going to do is take my razor blade here, and I'm going to carefully cut and slice off this adhesive. But I'm going to do it in a way where I leave just enough that it'll slide right past the metal here so that it'll help realign it when I need to go and put it back into the new frame. So I'm doing precise cuts here so I can take my thumbs and gently push on the crystal and it'll pop out without much effort. Starting to come out now. Gently grab on it and pull it the rest of the way. Make it a nylon spudger here. And we gently push it out the rest of the way. You want to be extremely delicate when removing 
this because you don't want to damage it at all. You may struggle with getting it out because the other side tends to have glue that's wedged into some of the little spaces there. But you need to get the crystal out intact, otherwise you're going to have issues with your dot projector and face ID won't work. But I like to leave all of the adhesive that I can because then it is properly aligned when I put it back in the new frame. And so now we have the five pieces to put this all back together. So we have a working front camera and face ID. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is grab our dot projector. We're gonna compress it gently down inside, letting that adhesive kind of find its way back to where it was originally on the original one. And you can see it's already stable and in place. For the next step, I'm gonna be using some of the super glue for iPhone. And to ensure that I'm not putting too much, what I like to do is basically put a nice little drop here on something plastic that it's going to be throw away. And I'm going to get a little bit on the tip here and we're going to dab it on the four corners in, down inside. Just like that, so that we can take our camera, line it up and push it down inside as square as possible. And we'll just hold it there for a little bit until it sets up. An alternative would be cold press. Putting a nice little dollop. On the four corners there, then we'll line up the infrared camera and push it in. Now this one's going to fit a lot better because I already, because I left the factory adhesive on there. Just need to make sure that it's snug because it needs to be looking directly at the same path of the, of the dot projector so that it can pick up on the dots and read the face. In fact, the front facing camera isn't actually necessary for face ID functionality, but it does help you line your face up when you're setting it up so that you can see it. So now we'll just let this set up and then we'll go ahead and tack on the back when it's uh, ready to go. And I'm going to put an extra little bit of cold press here on the border to kind of reinforce the dot projector so that it doesn't shift around at all and move because it's still a little bit loose in there. So we'll glue it in a couple spots. Now that we've let that set up a little bit, I'm going to take a little bit of glue. So a little bit there on the back of the shield here, also up here on the infrared camera. We'll get out our shield here, we'll line everything up, and get ready for tack welding. Now I've just got one of my little cleanly clamps out here, and clamped it in the back there. Now we just need to square up the frame, just to make sure it's as aligned as possible. Just like that. Now I'm going to get out my spot welder, plug in the leads, turn it on. Make sure it's on automatic. And then we'll come together on both sides here and push together like this. Here we go, ready? Just like that. Now before I tack one more, I'm just gonna double check the alignment on the other side and I like it, so. I'll do one more. That was a little bit bigger spark than I'm used to. I didn't push hard enough. I needed to push hard enough together. But needless to say, that's that's on there secure. It just doesn't look pretty. <laughs> Let's see if we can do a better job on this side here. All right, I turned down the power. Here we go, one. Turning down the power helped with that one. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to clamp the, the camera here You can see the four, the four spots there. So we're going to be going for something like that. There's one, there's two, and there's three. All right, now we will put it back into the phone and we'll connect back up each one of the flex cables here. We'll take our display, plug it back in, connect up the battery, 
and then we'll turn it on. Now we can go in and see if we can set up. But let's check the camera first, make sure it's working. And there you go. You can see me, my beautiful face. Rear camera is still working just fine. Now let's go and check for face ID. Still blue, that's a good sign. And let's see if it can uh, find my face. There you go. Yeah, and there you go. Fixing the front camera and maintaining face ID. So there you go, replacing the front camera on an iPhone 12. Very similar on all other Face ID models, consisting of separating the frame, transferring over the crucial components, aligning everything, and securing everything in place with the glue, with tack welding. Fairly straightforward. The tack welders aren't too expensive. A pair of wire cutters or snips, very cheap. Overall, this is a inexpensive repair that just requires a little bit of finesse and patience. If you've learned something or liked this video, click that thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.